Warning! Contains spoilers for the Joker film. Please do not watch this if you have not seen the Joker. I do not want to ruin your impression of the movie. Good day. Sup, owners of pussies and dicks. I went and saw fucking Joker yesterday. Apparently a lot of people love this movie, and while I can certainly see why, with the acting being really good for this kind of film, and the score making those already ten scenes more intense, mm-hmm, yeah, that's the shit, I still feel like I should throw in my two cents, though. The first problem I have is that you really don't see a lot of the Joker being the Joker. Like, I kind of get what they were going for. They were going for a character study on how he turned into the Joker. At the same time, though, you called the movie Joker, not Joker Origin. Give us the goddamn Joker. Arthur Fleck is an interesting character, sure. And I really don't mind an origin story, but I imagine most people spent money on this movie to see the Joker. Not Arthur Fleck. Like, sure, the origin story is something that hasn't really been explored too deeply when it comes to the Joker outside the killing joke. But, you know, I feel like the killing joke probably did his origin story a little bit better. Second complaint. There are some incredibly dumb choices in the writing. For example, there is a scene where two of Arthur Fleck's ex-co-workers come over after Arthur Fleck kills his mother after finding out she had essentially lied to him his entire life to try and comfort him, and Arthur snaps on one of them and starts bashing the co-worker's head into the wall while the other watches the entire time screaming and crying. And then he just lets the other one leave. The reason why I think this is monumentally dumb is because this is a character that just watched you turn this fool's brain inside out using the wall and pure concussive force, and you're just gonna let him walk away where he could go to the police and report you for murder. Are you retarded? Third complaint. Certain scenes feel like they were struggling to make this movie longer. Like, there's this whole scene where he's doing a slow ballet dance after shooting three people in a subway and locking himself in a bathroom. It's a scene that really didn't need to be there. I would argue that if I were in charge, I would have personally made a scene where he is arguing with himself in the mirror, point the camera at him without his makeup to represent Arthur, and then switch over to the reflection of him in his makeup to represent the Joker slowly taking over if we're going for artistic representation. At least then the pacing would feel consistent. Which leads me to my next complaint, the pacing. It takes a while for shit to happen in this movie, which I wish I wasn't saying about the goddamn Joker. Of all goddamn characters, man. Now if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my sexually inactive life and I'm gonna go beat my fucking meat. Good day.